The Nexus 7 comes with a default home launcher. That's the screen with your icons and widgets that you go to when you press the home button. The Android operating system allows you to change this launcher if you wish and you can get different ones from the Google Play Market. Some are free and some cost money. You might want to change your launcher because different ones can do different things. For example, Apex Launcher allows you to customise your icons with different pictures. You can also change the grid size of the screen so that you can fit more icons and widgets onto your home screen. And you can also tilt the screen into landscape mode, which is something that the default launcher of the Nexus 7 doesn't allow you to do. When you have multiple launchers on your device, you may need to clear and choose a new default launcher. Here's how to do it. First, go to settings, then apps, and then swipe to all. You will then need to find the launcher you are currently using. The Nexus 7 default is simply called Launcher. Press on it and there you will find an option called Launch by Default. What this means is when you press a home button, it defaults to this launcher. So press the clear default button. Now when you press the home button, because there is no default launcher, you will be given the option to choose a new launcher which you want to return to. In this instance, I'm going to choose Go Launcher HD. This launcher allows you to resize any widget, whether or not it's supposed to be resized, with interesting consequences. Now, I haven't yet chosen a new default launcher. If I press the home button, I will again be presented with the option to choose a launcher. So when I press the home button now, I'm going to select Always and choose my launcher. Now that the launcher has been defaulted, Pressing the home button will simply return me to this default. To choose a new one, I would again need to go to settings and clear the default. I've only shown you the tip of the iceberg when it comes to launchers, and each one does require some setup, but you can do some very funky stuff with them. So experiment and see what you can do.